Hello and welcome to the 53rd episode. Um, I'm your host Jimster Gaming and I'm playing Open T3 on a huge Europe map. So, first out today is to do some small improvements because we have these steam trains uh, that aren't really needed and they can't be uh, extended um, because the yeah, they're not strong enough for it, the locomotives. So let's fix this, if I remember how to do it. Um, it is on the trains and in for a wood train. Um, and this one is called, what are the calls of B? Smaller cars of B have these trains, and this is basically how much this locomotive can carry, but um, it piles up <laughs> because it's just not enough for it. So let's do this. Um, replace vehicles. I'm going to replace that one with this one. Because the difference um, is that you have twice as many horsepower, so you have slightly more attractive effort as well. So I'm just going to replace them with that. No, it doesn't make any sense to do that. Stop replacing vehicles. Um, because I need to do this as well, right? I don't remember. Uh, how was it that you did this? That was not the way to do it anyway. Um, let me see. Ah, template replacement. That was the one. Um, so... I need to make a new one, new template vehicle, this one, and we're doing wood, and it had six on, so we'll just put on eight, I don't know how many I have, five, six, seven, eight, that should do it, that should do the trick, um, okay, uh, not the idea. Remove that one. Um, done, I think. Um, okay. Make sure it says wood. Okay. Um, good. And then let's hit this one until we find the right one. Um, that one, and click on that one, and then start replacing. That was the plan. Good. Um, and then I believe that we have this one as well, and I believe let see, and that one. Okay, but this one I think is fine, um, but this one isn't. So we'll have that one as well, here, there, sorry. Um, and start replacing that as well. That should replace both all those four trains. Um, let me see if it works. Um, so they are coming here and to the depot over there. Okay, so we'll just have a look at this one. So let's see, it moves fine. Yeah, whatever. And it comes into the depot and does it get replaced? Look at that. Replaced. 
and that means we can step up the production a little bit because the production is falling behind. This one is only down to 76%, so not so bad. Um, but this one has already fallen to 66%, which isn't great. Good. So that's sorted. It got a little bit complicated there. Um, these will also be replaced, and that means that they are going to go back and forth not as frequent. Um, the problem here is now that we need to actually duplicate this, which I didn't want to. Um, but I don't see any other way of fixing this. Like that. So let's get the train moving, just to get it out of sight. There we go. And remove this track. And remove this track. Replace this one with that one. Put in an extra here. And put one there. Place that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fine, that meant we just increased the capacity quite a lot there, which is great. Um, oh, oh, we actually have an error there, I can see. Okay, so let's move this one forward because these are go never going to get where they're supposed to be going because there is a missing link here. Look at that. Yes, so that has been fixed. Uh, this should clear itself out rapidly, so that shouldn't be a major issue. Done. Um, and this part shouldn't make too much of an issue either. So let's move on to today's stuff to fix with. So first of all, we are going to build a ship line. So from Lulio, the metal is going to Kiel. I think I mentioned Olbori, Aarhus last time, but it's actually Kiel, and Kiel is here. Um, so there are a few ways of getting it there. So one is to do uh, freighted by train, which is something I would really like to do, meaning following the coast, probably go through here and down to Gothenburg and then ship it down here. Alternatively, taking it all the way down here and shipping it down here. Um, or ship it by boat all the way and get it through this way, because that's shorter. Uh, not by much. Uh, but I'm actually going to just ship it by boat. Um, because I think that these lines are going to get rather full of trains anyway. Um, so I'm going to ship them by boat. So let's put in a ship depot here. And help this one to get out. Like that. Um, then just follow the coast south. Um, and these are going to be used by other vessels as well, I would expect. Oh, we actually need to get around here as well. There we go, and just to keep it on a safe distance so it don't get stuck in all these small islands and stuff down here. Um, we'll bring it down on this side. So let's bring it in here. Down here, um, which 
inside of one holm. Um, could actually make it north of one holm. And we'll avoid the inner waters of Denmark for this exercise and bring it through here instead. Um, and here, which is going to have some form of um, uh, freight cargo thing going on there. So I want to keep them away from that if there are ports and get down here and I think I'll just put the port here on the corner um, and we'll see where we end up with it Ta -ding. I'm not sure where the stations will be here um, that's a much later story so that's fixed uh, then we need to get some metal ships going um, and this one is going to produce three per iron ore and two per eight, sorry, three per eight tons of iron ore, two point four eight tons of coal, which would, when they step up and get both, it will produce roughly one to one, I think, and it's going to get its metal from, sorry, yeah, iron ore from here. This one will produce a thousand. This one will produce more than a thousand. Or shipped more than a thousand so that means two thousand a month plus we are going to get coal from Poland uh, which will also come by sea from Konin which I believe is here yes this one do a hundred or actually three hundred four hundred sorry and this one is doing yeah almost four hundred as well so that means almost 3,000 is produced and we need to ship 80% of that. So that's just under 2,500 a month. So that means we can put larger ships on here. I'm going to put the 1,100 one, um, which I believe, let me see, steel. No, sorry, metal. Um, we have this one, but we also have this one, 1440. I have the 1100, I have the 1440. The 1440 is faster. So I will actually go with that one. And I assume that we will need a bunch of them, but I'll buy six from for now, I think. The Mas Palomas Freighter. So let's buy one and make sure that we got metal, not milk. <laughs> Bring it in there, full load, and off we go. And as usual, this is not the funniest piece of anything, so I'm going to do this off camera and be back in a second. So back again, and uh, yeah line is finished. So let's clone this one and put on six of those for now. And when needed we'll have to add some more, which probably will be the case. Um, because when we manage to ramp it up, if I remember correct, uh, there will be like 2500 units of metal. And when we can also get some scrap metal in, scrap metal will not make much in itself uh, but it's going to ramp the other ones even further up so I think that um, it's going to be a lot of production there so that's great now it's time to move on to the next project of the day and the next project of the day is to transport some milk um, and let me see where we are here. And the line is already here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this one for milk as well. Um, 
So that means we probably need to extend it a little bit. Uh, let's put fixtures. I'm gonna put one, that one on there. Do this, this, and that, and let me see. That's milk, I guess, right? Yes. Let's put on some milk tanks. So let's do milk tanks there and there. Good. <laughs> I made it too long. Um. Need to remove station. No. Oh, that worked. Great. Like that. And do this. Um, and I'm going to put in... Do I need another one? Yes, I'm going to put in one more, um, just in case. You never know. Eight. Because when you put on the depot, it's difficult to move it if you have to. So I'll just do that. Then. The problem here is that we are going to create issues with this junction, possibly because of all the trains coming in and out of here, uh, but for now it should be fine anyway. So, so the idea is to take the milk out. Let me see. So we'll have the milk one here. that and it's going to collect milk from here which has 60,000 liters which is plentiful um, which is going to be duplicated by three for transportation purposes so that's basically almost 200 and then we are going to get the one over there here, which has 36, which will be another 100. Then we will also get the one down here, which will be another 150. And we have to connect the one in Umeå, which is over here somewhere there which will have another 100. And that together will be like 550 to 600 a month. So I'm going to put in a train that transport um, at least that amount. So we'll use the normal ones with Swedish look and Milk is there. But I'm going to use these wagons because I like these wagons. Um, and I'm just going to fill it until we hit 8 to see how many we got with us. 8.0 actually. That's great. So we can transport 442,000. Uh, which means they are going to run a little bit more than once a month, but that's fine, I think. That's great. So, let's refit train. And in the start, because not all of them have uh, farm supplies, uh, it's going to be a little bit less, but anyway. So, let's move it from there and move it down here. That means we have to some more duplication in I assume take it down there and in the did this one get in there and out again um, down there and depot Done. And I'm going to clone that once we have four, I think, gone. Let's 
it's going to be a little bit overkill right now but uh, there will get it, it will be a little bit more busy later on um, this one I'm going to put from this side then um, cargo type milk this one we said produce 60,000 so that's 200 almost um, so I'm going to use the 50 six one and um, yeah let's do the 56 one make sure it's milk get to there full load bring it over there and transfer and bring it in there Great, and I'm going to clone that one as well. I don't think it's needed, but uh, we'll do that anyway. That means there's always one waiting, and that's going to keep the percentages up. Perfect. Next one, I'm going to bring this one on. Put in this. That and build an F train. Let's see, forty four thousand, um, which means a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty every month. So I should. Bring four of these then, uh, because four of those is twenty. That's a little bit more than a hundred. And I need to have two trains anyway. Let's make it one extra. One for the road. Uh, milk. And bring it in. Okay, I didn't put one in. The waypoint station full load through that waypoint, which isn't needed because this is not a long journey. Um, and in here, actually, it doesn't need to go on that one, it can go on any one, really, it doesn't matter. Transfer and get back this way into the depot. Done. Clone it, and we have two. And I hold Control, which means that they are going to get exactly the same orders and be linked. So if I change the orders on one, it will automatically change the order on the other one as well. Um, great. Next one up is the one here, because we can reach this one as well easily. And I'm going to put it immediately after... Ah, this one will be there, that's right. So when we duplicate this one, the other one will end up there, so that's fine. Uh, there is a waypoint up there as well, so that's great. Um, yes, so I'm just going to do this on this one, actually. There's no point in bracing land or anything, I'll just fix this because I think we have room, right? So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I'll just do that. Whatever. Not needed, but yeah. Put this one on. Quality of the milk and do the same thing. So, this one is producing 36, so that means more than 100. So, we'll stick to not sending one every month. I think I put on six of these um, because they don't need to be so frequent, and that means we only need two of them. They're not going to clog up the 
um, East Coast Main Line that much, which is also an important thing to take into account. If they don't need to come frequently, then you can just avoid it. Um, stuff that has to come in every month for the production to keep up, then it's a different story, but in this case it's not needed because uh, um, we are going to be able to send a train out more, well, a full train of milk out more than every month anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's continue down here, and we had a waypoint somewhere there. And depot it is. Good, and then I'm going to clone, so we just have two of these. That should be fine, I'm not sure, but I hope so. So, currently, this one don't have any farm supplies. Um, and these two, though, are with farm supplies. So, then we need the last one, and the last one is coming from here. And I've had some thoughts about this. Um, I'm going to have a connection from Umu up here. But it doesn't make any sense, so therefore I'm going to bring it down here to Sundsvall and make a turn around, which we can do on this side. Uh, it means the, the city can't build next to the station, but whatever. I'm going to leave the last one because I think it would be fine anyway. Train lengthwise. Um, yes. Let's put that one. No, I should actually do that because there might be other things I need to turn around as well. It's better to do it that way. Um, put in. Where do we have that one there? It can just go into the station as well, to be honest. Uh, do we want that? Is it going to cause issues? Not sure. I will actually leave it. Leave it like that and let it go into the station. Um, that could be interesting, but it should be doable. And first off, out on this will be some tricky planning, because I want to build a station here. Um, but it's not that easy. So I want this street to go up through the station area. Um, and it will mean that I need to have the station all here, I believe. One, two, three, four. Because that means I can lift this one high enough to get it through. So let's put on... Um, <laughs> I'm going to put this one on here, I believe. And then put one on here and one on the other side of the river which had best been there but oh I can put it there actually that's less bad let's put it there then I'm still, they are still happy with me so that's good uh, that will change now because I need to move this one one further and I need to raise land there um, let me see Like that, right? Because I can get this one up and through. Can I? Yes, I can. Mm, great. And I can put a road down there, which makes no sense, maybe, but whatever. Um, and from here, I need to make it 8 in this direction, which means until there. So I need to raise this one. Is that enough? No, of course not. Um, I need to raise that and that as well. Now it turned red, which means we're not allowed to build, but I'm going to do that anyway. Um, by planting some trees. So let's plant some trees. Look at that, they immediately turned happy again. Um, Put in a Canadian platform, which is my absolute favorite, and see if this was enough. And hold control so we can connect it to another station. Dish done. 
And now they are, are angry and they will never be happy again. Or, well, they will eventually, but it's going to take a lot of time. Local authority. I'm still just very poor. That is about to change, though. Because we need to sort out some stuff here. So first of all, we need to raise a lot of land here. Because I need to get um, the road up. Oh, no, I didn't need to raise this one, though. Um, I believe. So, let me see. Uh, I need to bring this one out. Um, and I need to raise it on this side, so we can bring this one out here as well. Like that. And this one needs to get over from there. Because we need to get the road up there. I'm not too happy to have these climbs, but I don't really have a choice. And bring this one down there. And connect it there. Great. Um, so we need to continue here to actually get a station out of it. Um, because these will continue, that one will not, and that one will not. Bring these over, and bring these over. And I think I need to do this here. And I'm going to do that on that one as well. Um, to get over here, because we need access to that one as well. And I wonder, wonder, wonder where the timber is coming from, but I'm a little bit worried that everything needs to get down here to turn around, though. We'll see. Um, so let's do that anyway. And we need to continue through here so we can put on the signaling. Let's see, like that and like that that. Good. Signaling done. Um, same here. It would be possible actually to rebuild this one if it's not too bad of a traffic. Anyway, so I'm going to break the rules a little bit here now to do this. And the reason being that um, I need to get over this river and into this hill. So it doesn't really make any sense to uh, drop in altitude. I know I'm supposed to be doing that, but um, we'll see. Um, so let's just bring this huge bridge over. I think that one is the one, right? Yeah. So I can do it there, I think. Yeah. Did that fit? Yes, it did. Great. So let's build a really nice bridge over there and a really nice bridge next to it. Uh, we can even get a street under on both sides. That's great. So they will love us. Well, probably not. Um, so let's bring this one through. Yeah, let's bring it through that way. Let's bring this one up here. Um, just to be nice to the city. Not that they are nice to me, but yeah, whatever. I might need their help. Um, we can even get one through here with a tunnel, but uh, not now. Um, so that was this build, and I think it's going to be a long bridge over there for no apparent reason, but I can put this one in here because it's just extending an existing hill. That should be fine. So let's just bring it over there. Brick one. Maybe not for streets. Um, the trains might be more useful and we'll just build one of those. Great. The station will end up on this side because 
Oh, they are not close, but anyway. It will make most sense down there. I might even put on um, put on docks down here, actually, um, to keep to keep everything connected because I can build uh, I can make it into a canal anyway. This one it's a little bit narrow there, but that can be fixed. Uh, done. So let's just do that and continue. I'm not sure where we are height wise. We are going to stay on level 2, I believe. Yes. I'm not going to build the station in Umeo right now. I'm just going to connect this piece. Um, so let's bring it down this way. Complicated stuff done. Um, I think I'm going to bring it this way down and over here. Um, it might seem like the n not best way of doing it, but I think it's not that bad to be honest. Let's extend that hill and just bring it over there instead of taking it over here. Um, I don't need to double track this, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, build a nice, these bridges are nice. Was it this one? Yes. Good, and do that on that side and just bring it over here. And I'm going to move into double track here, a uh, single track here. Like that, and we have one there, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Um, I can put one there as well, actually. So, this one I'm going to bring down this valley. Like that. And going to put this one out here. It should be enough, I believe. Um, let me see. So we are there, and those are on, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was short. Let's just do one more then, like that. Great, and. And just fill in this one. Come on. And bridge this one. And get this one up there and move it over there. And we are done. Look at that. Or well, at least we are done there. Uh, so off camera for the next episode I'm going to fix this small piece of track here, connect this one and put a train on, or several trains on. Uh, until then, have fun and thank you so much for watching.